Hey guys, uh, just got some beeswax last night, so I'm testing out the uh, tarp after I beeswax it. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, got it full of water. When I say full of water, I got a pretty good puddle in here. Um, let you see, um, it's running really good. Um, as far as leaking, I think we've got it solved. I don't see anything coming through that. This is two coats of... Uh, That's two coats of beeswax mixed with the other stuff. Um, I'll give you the solution to it. Um, basically used, uh, let me get this out of here before I bust the, the thing. But as you can see, I mean, it's, it's holding very well. You know. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think we've got it. I think we just found out what we were missing the whole time was beeswax. It's amazing. Crazy little bees can do that little that that much stuff that you know the the tent the tarp would be missing just the beeswax. Um, pretty much what I used. Let me walk over here and show you what I got last night. Move over to the old pickup truck. <coughs> beeswax. Uh, this is raw beeswax. Let me let this down. Grab the bag. Oh. Yep. My alarm system is uh, going off there, telling me, "Hey, somebody's here." <laughs> it's just me. Actually, they're just wanting to treat raw beeswax. Um, Eleven and a half pounds, and actually. You can see this piece right here with just the little chunks missing out of it. Um, right here. That's actually the, um, that's the amount of beeswax I used on that last night. So um, here's, here's what I said by, meant by raw beeswax. You can see on the bottom of it. Um, when you flip them over, you can see that one too. That uh, I'm going to have to melt them down and re-clean them. But this is beeswax. Uh, if y'all have never seen it, um, this is how it comes from the honey man. Went and picked it up last night. Um, good for candles, lotions, uh, waterproofing your tarp. So, uh, basically, and this is probably the one that's got the most stuff in it, but you can... You know, that's raw honey. That You ain't going to find this stuff in the store because uh, they don't sell it like this in the store. Um, you can see on my hands where it's got the, you know, the, the raw honey. Um, but that's that's what it takes to uh, to do it. Let's walk back here and I'll look, show you the other stuff I used real quick. I had one can of mink oil, and then I added a few extras. I had some, about a half a can of shoe polish. You may go and think, what in the world? Actually, it was uh, two half cans of shoe polish, just old shoe polish. Can of mink oil. Um, it was half, half of a uh, candle, uh, like one of them three burner candles. For my paraffin side, uh, the mix I used was a four to one mixture of four parts wax, two parts beeswax, two parts uh, mink oil, shoe polish, and the paraffin wax, and then one part of. Go over here to the old truck. And then one part of that right there, boiled linseed oil. And um, that was. That was my mix, what I used to waterproof my tarp. So as I get the big one done, I will let y'all know. So have a good day.